The sound of your Neuralink alarm shoots into your dream. The dream is you on a beach located in a Walmart in Akron, Ohio. The beach is on fire, and the CEO of BP Oil is jerking his gnarled 7-inch uncircumcised penis into a river used by a village of African farmers. Your alarm isn't a ring. It's a Billie Eilish AI-generated song that was just created by a neural network 58 seconds before you woke up. The chip in your brain won't stop playing the song over and over. Must have malfunctioned again. It only stops when you hit your head hard on the wall a few times. You crawl out of your bed made of woke microplastics and pesticides and make your way to the bathroom. The air conditioning is set to 61 degrees because it's 146 degrees outside. The air conditioning, however, doesn't work, so it's 146 degrees in your home. You've lost 14 pounds of water weight from sweating during the 5 hours of sleep you got last night. You go to piss in the toilet, but you remember you don't have a toilet. You grab your piss bucket but fail to realize it's your shit bucket. Shit splatters on the bathroom floor and starts to simmer like a fried egg. You grab your piss bucket and release your bladder. It's so hot in your home that your urethra has begun to melt and you piss blood. You grab an Amazon brand wad of half-ply toilet paper and shove it up your pee hole. You then thank Amazon for having your back and always providing you with quality products. You don't have to go far to start making breakfast because your kitchen is also your bathroom. It's a space saver and you love it. You throw some fresh spider eggs on the toilet slash stove top and cook them until they're almost burnt. Cooking them well done gets some of that spider taste out. You pop some bed bug bread into the toaster slash sink. And when it's done, you slather it with some lizard butter. You pour your Exxon Mobil brand Cricketos cereal into a TikTok brand bowl made of a human skull. You pour cockroach milk into the cereal and dig in. The texture isn't quite crunchy. It's more like biting into a piece of popcorn that's been sitting out all day. You finish breakfast and brush your teeth with CIA brand toothpaste made from the fat of people who died in the Sixth World War. Your Neuralink chip reminds you to hurry up and make it to work. If you're late, you'll be castrated after three strikes. You already have two strikes. You make your way out of the floating home and board your boat. You bought the boat a couple years ago and it came with a bumper sticker that reads, Diabetic, mentally retarded, supporter of good vibes on board. You were going to take it off, but you didn't want people to think you were boring. Nothing's worse than someone thinking you're boring. Now you're on your way to your floating office in the middle of Kansas City. As you putter along the open stretch of dark, oily, man-made ocean, you encounter a blue-gray body, bloated and decaying from days of floating through the eternal darkness. You look closer and notice that this isn't just any rotten corpse. It's the corpse of your neighbor, Cheryl. Cheryl is a clone made in the Chinese lab. You look even closer and realize that she isn't rotting or even dead. That's just how she looks. You wave and she waves back. You make it to the office right on time, with only a few seconds to spare. Your boss looks at you with a hint of dissatisfaction. He was hoping you would be late so he could sterilize you with his bare hands. He has a fetish for those sorts of things. Your Neuralink chip connects to the office's 13G Wi-Fi signal. It implements a firewall on your brain so you can't think about blowing your brains out or what you saw on Meta TV last night. Your thoughts are centered on work and only work. You tell yourself you can't wait to get started with the day. This is something you tell yourself that has no basis in reality. You actually can wait to get started. You could wait for a lifetime to get started. Your work consists of sending emails to AI employees who then send emails back to you. Every time you send an email, your data is harvested and used to spam call your Neuralink almost every minute of the day. You have to cough up half your day's pay to block the calls. It's okay though. The economy is built on emails. You're doing your part in keeping the country rich and powerful. One of your coworkers is a Disney adult. You wish you didn't know what that was. She wears a Mickey hat every day and only buys Disney brand food and products. She says she wears Disney brand panties that she hasn't washed for two months because she loves them so much. She thinks she has a Disney brand yeast infection. She drinks Disney brand white wine, pops a few Marvel brand Xanax, and talks to her AI boyfriend at lunch. Her AI boyfriend is literally Donald the Duck. They enter VR and experience a trip to Disney. They fuck in the castle. You see her simulate fellatio on Donald in the employee break room. A single tear falls from your eye. You finish your lunch, which consists solely of mosquito protein bar and some impossible brand breast milk to wash it down. The breast milk is made from men, but it all tastes the same to you. You go back to your desk, made of the remains of Hot Topic workers, and send more emails. You send an email to one of the AI employees, and they begin to glitch out and eventually murder 14 people foraging for food in what once was the Mall of America. You're reprimanded and sit home without pay for a week. You boat home like a sad Navy sailor who just contracted gonorrhea from a Vietnamese hooker. You travel past the Google Soul Pyramid. You're just able to make out the few hundred souls of DoorDash drivers being harvested to feed Google's new artificial intelligence. Their screams pierce the quiet of dusk. You wince, but you have bigger problems. You finally make it home. The sun has just set and you gaze out to the heavy matte black curtain of night. You take a deep breath and walk into your home. You plop down your Raytheon brand gamer chair and take a hit of CBD Oxycontin from your iPhone slash gravity bong slash flashlight. You turn on your laptop slash iron board and type P into the search bar. Pornhub pops up instantly. It's your most searched term. Your only search term. You peruse the step cousin category for five hours, then finally pick a video. It's a deep fake of Taylor Swift's face on Sidney Sweeney's body and Tom Hanks' face on Dwayne The Rock Johnson's body. You've watched it many times before. It's the only one you like. 
You drop trowel, but before you can start tugging, the screen turns black, much like the liquid ground your home resides on. A message breaks through the darkness. Hello. Pornhub has been banned in your area. We are sorry for the inconvenience, it reads. You sit in silence for a few minutes, your dong draped over your thigh, wrinkled and soft, resembling a hot dog that's been microwaved for too long. You sit and stare, and stare, and stare, staring for minutes, hours, days, possibly weeks. Is this a dream? Is this hell? You think about all the old movies that were optimistic for the future. If only the people who made those movies, your ancestors, could see you sitting here now. If only they could see you sitting here now.